structure here means that we were like you know um how would you say bro like we had an event on with mantel fish yeah lined up lined up and we <laughs> and as we were coming, he's laughing because he wrote the conversation where the week before the show i was saying is we had a meeting <laughs> me you and audrey and i was like it's not gonna happen dude it's like yo it's, yo yo we just just came into the country on sunday it's not gonna happen dude it's not it's not, not gonna happen i, I sure it's the first day and lo and behold man you know what i mean i spoke into into death <laughs> so you know but we had to be safe and and covid leak and uh and now you know we were both entered into the season losing out on a major event you know people bought tickets it was virtually sold out both ends if not you know what i mean close very close to and it was like yo like what's next man so you know how d- just, just, just. How was that, bro? At the time, you know what I'm saying, because you know we, we kind of built up over a long period towards that show, and you know, what I mean, how, how, how was the feeling of just losing out on that show? Yeah, no, that was a horrible feeling, man. It was horrible. I was, you, know, you know, when you're just like so, like upset, you didn't mm. know what to do because you've been working hard for this event, and we were all working hard to try and. We were all excited and mm-hmm. everyone was trying to push it. Yeah. And like you said, we almost sold out. So yeah. it's like, like, it second, was like we, we, almost, we, we almost sold out with a week to go. Guys, people don't buy tickets to a week to go. You know what I'm saying? Two, two, two days yeah. before. So, we already, so guys, just to let you know, promotions 101 in the gospel scene, the black gospel scene in the UK is, you, you almost sold out with a week to go. The gig sold out. Yeah. <laughs> Majority of people yeah, caught me. Yeah, 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 it's sold, sold out. out. <laughs> sold out shows. Sold out show. But Karen, bro, sorry. Just want to emphasize that point. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Yeah, like we sold out. And like when you're ready to just have a good event and do something that isn't really done often mm. in the UK as well. Mm. And I think because it was so big like that, it was really disappointing just to, because of just everything. And I think I was upset for weeks even still now <laughs> i'm still upset now about this <laughs> yeah but it would, it would have been so good but mm-hmm. obviously covid19 mm-hmm. um ruined our plans <laughs> so Whoa. yeah bro absolutely crazy absolutely yeah. craziness bro so tell me now how has life been apart from every time you think back and go Lad, why could you give me an extra two <laughs> weeks could you give me two weeks you know god why you know apart from that part bro um what have you been up to with gospel hydration because you know we got you got an amazing youtube channel now you know i spoke to step forward to see what's it been like interacting with artists after this because um artists you know i mean like likes of so um a star triple o all releasing massive products you know what i mean in faith child you know what i mean back yeah. ended uh, uh, uh last year they're all bringing out these massively cool projects ready to Storm the UK, and he's marvelous as well. Yeah. You know, uh, did I say his name? I call it marvelous, but it's marvelous, <laughs> marvelous Mel- anyway. Still, you know, what I'm saying so. Uh, you know, just treat me as your Jamaican uncle, you know, he doesn't say names properly, but anyway, so yeah, uh, all these guys are bringing out great product, and there's youngsters like Oscar, oh, all these guys are bringing out great products, and then boom, COVID leak. How has it looked from gospel hydration side? What has the stats been like? Has people been like? And what has the artist been like from one viewpoint? What has the stats been like? And also from another, view, another viewpoint, what has been the input been like? Yeah, do you, do you know what? It's been it's been crazy. Like it, it's weird. Once once all this happened with COVID nineteen and everything, mm. it was just a, a, a increase in engagement online as well because mm. everyone's staying at home. Um, just the past even thirty days, we've done over two point nine million views. You know what I mean <laughs> on on the on the platform, and that's that's it. That's in like just stats in general. <laughs> so no. it's been going crazy, and it's been growing, and we've been going up. We're doing like a hundred subscribers a day, um, and on even on Instagram, it's been blowing up. So it's been it's been constant, if not busier during this time as well. Um, so that was that was a good thing. Like it's just getting it's just getting a bit frustrating because we, we can't get on with our like regular shows and a lot mm. of the podcasts that we were doing mm. which it, like required people to be in the studio as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah, so, yeah yeah so that's the only difference like now but i can't wait to get back to that really mm. that's, that, yeah. that, that, that's crazy bro that's crazy because 
for me, um, like I'm, I'm looking at you know, uh, all the, all these uh, uh, situations that we are facing, you know, like you know, and it's just like you know, it's like people are now looking at these formats, you know. By the way, I need to pass on these blessings from um, YouTube and how you smashing on YouTube, and it's like, let me some of your views and subscribers, you know. I'm mean? like, yo, I want to grow my channel again, but you know, what I'm saying, but I, I, I must admit, hands up in the air, but I, I, I switched off YouTube about a couple of years ago. I just like ignored the format, yeah, and then. That must be the time where you just digging away, digging away. And like, yo, man slipped. You know what I'm saying? And everyone's coming true now. So it's, it's actually cool. It's called, guys, be, just keep, lesson to learn is just, just keep at it, guys. Just keep, I, I encourage you all. But, um, so this, that's great. So that's it up. Um, and that's fantastic for me, for UK. Um, but just to give people an idea, the, the magnitude, you said about 2.9, um, um, views in, in a matter of two weeks you know what's it what's it like stat wise in terms of how many subscribers have we got now um so at the moment we're on 120,000 um subscribers and yeah, so just, a, just a just reiterate to people that's over a three-year period is that correct yeah yeah over three years yeah <laughs> after i have to salute you g i have to salute you my life <laughs> Like, yo, you know what I mean? Like, in the UK gospel, in the niche of the niche scene, the urban scene, the scene that, you know what I mean, you've, 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 you've done it, bro. Like, like, that is just like crazy. I'm like, yo, I'm just receiving the blessings right now. For God, I pray that, yo, that I will reach that in the next two weeks. But anyway, so yeah, but, um, but yo, um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, thanks, so be it, man. <laughs> um, so in three years, you got over 100,000 subscribers. So, so like we're stuck in covid zone you're getting even more subscribers you get you you are now from 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 losing out you know what i mean on a, full, on a big show you know you're capitalizing all these massive views C coming to i wouldn't say the end of covid how do you see yourself if, if you what what do you what's next for like gospel hydration what are you as a creative behind the scenes looking to do based upon this new world that we're going to be facing um so, so for my focus now is really to really focus on the content creation side. Mm. Um, a lot of the time we um, we get submissions and different things, but we want to create more of our own like original shows and original um, actual like music. music as well. Good, good. Yeah, so we're, we're focusing a lot more on the content creation side than it was before. Yeah. So, so, you, so, because uh, I've seen you released a few artist tracks um, over the past year yeah. and whatsoever. So, is that you want to get more into the record label element of things? Yeah. So, with them tracks, like we we get the production done, and then we 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 kind of like figure out which artists will sound good on it, and then contact them as well, and then mm. get them on the track. Yeah, so we've been doing that. Yeah. Okay, 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 cool, cool, cool. Artists keep on grinding, man, I'm watching, man, I'm watching, you know what I mean? That's hard still, bro, that's, that's actually a brilliant idea. It's very similar to, um, I'm not saying you're copying them, but like Rapazilla does a, a sort of thing where you, I'm not saying they do the same like technique, but they have like, they not only have the platform, but they also do releases and support young artists coming through and actually just give them a platform on their platform and say, listen, I got this done jump on this you know what i'm saying you know and, and and it's great to hear that you know that you're kind of like um to do that and i encourage everyone to you know with talent to keep doing it because we want to get spotted and you know i mean get into a major platform like this but 